burning some um, sticks and brush from when we did the landscaping and we noticed something really kind of crazy. We can't believe it. We saw this swarm of bees and we just looked over at our pine tree. You won't believe what we saw. A huge, huge hive hanging off our pine tree that we didn't even know was there. Hundreds of bees. Let me see if, I don't want to get too close. And I've been trying to, Sky, I don't want my dog to get stung. Sky, stay away, honey. Look at, I don't know if, oh my goodness gracious. We're trying to call the right people to see if we can get some help. Can you see it right there? Right there, hanging off the pine tree. Hold on. Trying to zoom in a little better. Look at all those bees. Oh my goodness. Guys, we didn't even know this was here. Look at this. We're trying to get somebody that, you know, works with bees over here to help us to get this off our property safely and, you know, without hurting the bees or, any, or, or hurting us. So we're trying to do this the right way. Um, man. We'll keep you updated when the bee guy gets here. The guy that's going to help us with the bees is here. I don't know how we didn't notice this. Well, it might not have been there long. Really? To be that big? Wow. Well, well they all come out at the same time. Wow. That is huge. That's a very nice swarm. Oh, it good. is. The pollinator is very gray animals to have. Yes, they are. But I, I can't have it because I'm allergic. That's really cool. Now, what I'd like to do yes. is uh, get them dropped in the box and then just set the box there till they, you know, That's and then fine. I'll pick it up. That's fine. Tonight or Put the dog inside, right? I did, yeah. The dog was trying to jump on us. No. no we were. No, we wouldn't. Well, most likely She's all they would have done is took off. Okay. When they swarm like this, the first thing that they do is they gorge themselves on honey. So they've got something to start with. I see. And while they're full of honey, they're pretty content and it's harder for them to sting. Oh, okay. So most times now, if they'd been hanging there several days where they're starting to run out of, you know, the honey they've used it, and they then they can start getting a little bit testy, but thank you, be. thank you for educating us, because I, I have sure. no clue about be a, when I when I shake it. Most of the time, all it's going to do is thud into the box, and I'll put the lid on the box. They'll fly around it a little bit and then go in. The rest of them, but just in case, particularly if you're allergic, you won't. Stay back. I'll stay by the fire. <laughs> <coughs> okay. <laughs> I think and that's what they... started it because we're doing there, and the one point was so smoky around here. There was thousands of them flying over here. Yeah, yeah that's a real nice swarm. That's a big swarm. That's nice. But Hopefully, somebody like should. I said, my box will hold them. I hope you can. I hope you got the queen and they will follow you. I'm debating on whether to go back and get a bigger box. Hey, we're in no rush. Take your time. Whatever is best. Whatever is safe. For you, for yeah, you, safe, for the honey. best. I mean, for the for bees. The bees. <laughs> for the yeah, honey. For the He's honey. got honey on his mind. Yeah, right, honey? <laughs> no, no green. <laughs> now, this evening, when it starts to get cooler, they'll all go into tight cluster then. There won't be this flying around. Oh. The reason they're doing that is because it's warm. warm yeah. Okay, now the excitement's about to start. Okay. If, if 
they turn out to be basically real shitty. Just turn around and walk away slow. Okay. Don't don't wave at them. Don't do anything. Just walk away. Okay. If I were guessing, at which I am, there's uh, probably thirty thousand bees there. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Wow. That is a lot of bees. Yeah, that's a big swarm. Real big. You can't see from here. I said I wish I'd brought a bigger box. Now they'll fly around a lot. Okay. But, you know, they shouldn't. And once the main part of the swarm is in the box, and I've got the queen, the rest of them will just go in the box. Okay, they'll follow the queen. <laughs> Thrills and excitement. Here we you go. Ready for it? Yes. Whoa. Okay, I'm backing up. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I hear them. I hear a lot of buzzing. Now, if all goes like it's supposed to. Ooh, there's a lot flying around. I'm going to back up. Is there a hole? How do they get in? I'm sorry? How do they get in? There's a hole? Yeah, there's a hole. They're trying to oh. get in. Whoa. I am backing up because I don't know if you could see this on the video, but there is hundreds of them just swarming around. Are you allergic at all? No, I'm not. Okay, come around here. I mean, I've been stung by bees in my oh, life. It's no fun getting Yeah, it's not. Oh. Oh, I see the hole. Well, that's just a screen up there. Um, But what you'll see, you put, here, put this on. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, she's putting on that jacket. She's gonna get up and close personal with them bees. All right, now what? Now, zip it up. This is a first. We've gotta thank Mr. David Brooks here, taking his time, helping us out. Good fella. Okay, now, hold this over your head. You don't have to worry about it. Alright. Same them going in? Yeah. You know, and probably about a quarter of them have already quit. Wow. And then when the rest you know, when more of them get in there, mm -hmm. you'll see the, they'll make a ring around that hole. And you'll see them, you know, fanning their wings mm -hmm. and sticking their tail up in the air. And that's telling the others where they're at. Wow. So is this good progress, you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You think the queen's in there? Yeah, she's in there. They wouldn't be going in. 
Wow, look at that. I've never been this close before. <laughs> Is that right? Anything like this. Honeybees, um, they are, they're a, actually a real gentle creature. They're not yes. most of the time. I need to qualify that. Because you'll get them on a day when it's just bad conditions or something's been messing with them. Um, but mostly they're pretty gentle. You have a lot of these boxes, or how do you, what do you do? Uh, how do you keep them in there? Yeah, when? well, no, they'll just go in here to transport. But, oh, okay. Uh, and then I'll put them in. As big as this is, I'll put them straight in a full-sized hive tomorrow. Wow. If they stay put, that's the... I did, you know, if I'd have had some drone comb, or even better, some eggs. They would have. They wouldn't have left it at all. But yeah, so they'll. There's quite a few that are in the air. But you know they're already settling down. That's good. And you see how many fewer there are. Yes. Yeah, way less. Look at the even in the air here. Uh -huh. There was hundreds. Yeah, if I didn't have any idea it was that big a swarm or I would have bought a, brought a full-size box. Wow. Thank you for coming and helping well, us. We didn't know sure. what to do. <laughs> well, the, if in most cases, you just leave them alone a few days and they'll be gone. They'll, they'll find them a home and move in. You know, that was... This is how they reproduce okay is um, and I hate to think about where these bees probably came from what do you mean most likely it was one of mine that swarmed oh. and if they swarm you can forget about that hive producing much honey this year oh really yeah how much honey you pull every year it varies. You know, last year, it started out a real good year, and then uh, there wasn't any, any blooms at all from nothing blooms here. It was terrible. Wow. The, you know, from the end of clover all the way through, so I didn't, I didn't get any more honey. Now, is this something, if I were to learn how to do this the right way, I could put at the ed edge of the property far away so my husband, being allergic, won't bother him? Uh, yeah. yeah, there's no problem about that. The, the thing is, is they don't, they don't sit around and wait for people to get. You know, they most of the, most of the time, they've, you know, they're trying to gather honey and they're, they're working. They don't want to be messed with and, um, you know, they're interrupted. Right. But, I mean, you see how not aggressive they are. Right. Yes, I but, see that. And for him, if you said I have, you know, right over there, right mm -hmm. up close to the house. Mm-hmm. The, he could walk all he wanted around the back and the sides. They'd never pay any attention to him. If he stood in front of the hive, only if he was interfering with their flight path would they even pay any attention to him then. Okay. Unless something has been bothering him. I see. You know, would it be, uh, you know, skunk or, you know, possum or, you know, whatever. But, That's nice. Yeah, yeah same they're going right in. I kind of took it from you. I just wanted to get close. I didn't think you wanted to get that close without the suit. Yep. 
Yeah, there's less flying and less on the outside. There's more and more going in. Now what I'll do is, you know, put a few more frames of foundation in once they're in there. And hopefully not agitate them to the point that they leave. And the queen they're says, trying to hive on the, the tree again, like guys. It. They like it, so, you know, the, all of the workers, they're walking around. Waiting for their turn to go in? Kind of. We need to go. It's a lot less bees than I was get it. about a lot more. I want, I'm curious to learn. Kind of at what's going on. Now, hopefully, they will be cooperative. Most of the bees are in the box, but not all of them. As you can see, there's a lot swarming around still, all of a sudden. We're just trying to be patient. Let them all find the hole to get in. I just got hit the face of the bee. Did you? Yeah. Oh, no. They weren't swarming like this a couple minutes ago. They were all around the box. Woo! Oh man, I'm backing up. Remember what he said, slow. Oh yeah, thank you. Alright, let's see if they settle down everybody. Sure hope so. Elijah and Marcello are in the car. Not taking any chances. <laughs> Hi! What they were doing was hanging in the cluster from the lid. Yeah. And so when I took the lid off, you know, they went airborne. Oh. Like I said, hopefully, it's coming towards evening. And yeah. so they should settle right back down. Let's try to take a look over here. They're going in? Yeah. Now they're going back in. We're going right back in. Wow. Just like we first found the house. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, which makes me hope they don't take to the air. Queen came out, they may take off. When the bulk of these go back in again, I'll shake it. Okay. And hopefully she's still in. So if it wasn't for people like beekeepers that help them to reproduce and take care of them, what would happen to the earth without honeybees. Well, honeybees to start with, you know, are not indigenous to the United States or even North America. They, uh, they were brought by the Europeans to begin with. Oh. And so as, and that was early, they brought them right as soon as they came. Um, and then agriculture changed to where it was dependent on honey. Uh, apple trees were something else. That, that was, there were no apple trees here. Oh. And, uh, but, and apple, apples, they've got to have, uh, they got to have insects. There are a whole lot of uh, nectar gathering, pollen gathering types of insects. But the yields, and then you get 
some of these great big places, you know, California, there wouldn't be any almonds, there wouldn't be um, avocados, um, you know, a whole lot of vegetable crops that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, just you know, a handful of generations back weren't here. Mm. Or they weren't here in any mass. Yeah, she's still in the, in the box. She is? Because they wouldn't be because going in like that? They wouldn't be going in like that. She, she didn't come out. So the queen is still in there. Yep. Okay. That's good news. She doesn't take flight. That's the... As long as the queen bee doesn't leave, they should all stay. It is yes. everybody. All the bees, yeah. most of them went in. Yeah. There's only a little bit left out and they're going to make their way in too. So um, it's been an interesting day. We thank Dave for all his help. Thank you, thank Dave you so much. We don't know what we would have done without you. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the bees are going to be safe and well taken care of. And we will be safe too. So we'll see you next time. Bye.